Hi everyone, Bor here with another Diablo 4 guide. Today I'm going to talk about what affixes you should be looking for on your gear. I will be looking at this through the endgame perspective using items with 820 power level. In my previous video I mentioned that brackets don't change after 725 item power, but there are a few exceptions to this rule. Maximum life, Don't thorns, life on kill, life regen and lucky hit chance to restore life will be gradually upgraded with higher item power, in the same vein as flat armor or damage scales on item. This will let us look at some of those affixes, mainly maximum life, from a much broader perspective. Let's start with helmets. On my helmets I usually look for cooldown reduction first, as it's one of the few spots you can get it. Then it's time for maximum life and total armor. You can look for both of those stats, but in case you're affix constrained, armor will be better for physical damage reduction while maximum life for non-physical damage. That leaves us with the last slot and if you're not looking for anything specific, I would probably pick either main attribute for some extra damage, maximum resource or ranks to skill that is important for your build. Main stat is one of the separate damage multipliers and you can get 6.3% thrown into that bucket. But if you check the damage numbers, that 6.3 will translate to more like 3 to 4 more damage, depending how much main attribute you already have. The more you have, the less impactful adding more of main stat is. In the end, it's not that much, so if there's something you feel like will be better, you can easily skip this one. Having more mana or energy is always nice to cast your core skill one more time, and rank to skill will most likely reduce cooldown on that skill by another 2 seconds or so, so it can be also very nice to have. There are more affixes that may be very build specific, so you can pick them instead in your 4th slot or even drop maximum life or armor for another one. Chest armor is pretty simple. We pick all the damage reduction we can get and then we have a choice between maximum life and total armor. We are aiming for damage reduction from close that can roll the highest value. Then I like taking damage reduction from distance. Tier DR can be either the generic one, drawback case it rolls a bit lower than conditional DR, but it's always active. In most cases getting that condition working shouldn't be a problem, so that is the stat you should aim for. Gloves are also pretty straightforward. The most important stat here is attack speed, you can't get it anywhere else on gear at the moment. The ranks to core skill is what you're gonna need. After that critical strike chance is a solid option and if your build can utilize class specific critical strike damage affixes, that is a fourth affix for you. Otherwise you can probably just grab main attribute or maybe even lucky hit chance if it will synergize with your build well. I also personally like lucky hit chance to restore primary resource but only on builds that can proc that easily. Pants have the same gearing options as your chest armor. One thing I could maybe add here is that if you took total armor on chest you may think about getting maximum life on pants to balance the effective health points and be covered when it comes to both physical and non-physical damage. If necessary, you can sacrifice this affix slot for ranks to skill that is important for your build. For boots, I always aim for movement speed affix. Then we can take main attribute and resource cost reduction, leaving us with fourth affix open for anything we want. I personally like taking DR while injured for extra safety, but taking any class specific affix, movement speed after killing an elite or dodge chance can't be a wrong choice either. Amulet is probably gear slot that will be the hardest one to find with perfect stats. There are many good affixes you can get there. I would probably always try to get cooldown reduction and resource cost reduction on amulet. Both are just too good stats to pass on in my opinion. Then amulet is the only place where you can get plus 3 passive from your class. Your choice can be hard and will depend on what you need the most. You can pick from damage reduction, movement speed, plus 3 ranks for skill group or something specific for class you're playing. Percentage increase to main attribute could also be an option, but probably only if you stack your main stat a lot. If you have 1000 main stat, getting extra 100 should give you roughly 5% more total damage. Rings are very simple. What you want to get on them is critical strike chance, critical strike damage, vulnerable damage and maximum life. I know it's tempting to drop maximum life for something different like lucky hit chance, maximum resource or resource generation, but I feel like if you want to push harder content, life is mandatory. I would probably replace critical strike damage or vulnerable damage if it's higher if you really have to put something else on the ring. For example, if you already have 300% critical strike damage, adding 35% to that pool will increase your total damage by maybe 10-12% to only. So if you have to cut corners, this is probably the place. For weapons, you should always look for implicit that gives you either vulnerable damage or critical strike damage as those will give you much higher damage boost than any other damage type. When it comes to affixes, similar story. Critical strike damage and vulnerable damage are kings. 
Then you want your main attribute and last slot will be conditional class specific critical strike damage. If that's something you can't use in your build, then damage to close if you are melee or damage with core skills if you play range. Offhand can be used by Druid, Necromancer and Sorcerer only. What you want on this item is critical strike chance, cooldown reduction and then resource cost reduction. When it comes to last slot, you can get either main attribute, conditional damage reduction, resource generation, lucky hit chance or as I mentioned before, I also like lucky hit chance to restore primary resource. Right now, shield can be used only by Necromancer. You can get on it the same stat as an offhand, but if you're using shield, you probably want to get benefit of those extra defensive stats you can get there. It's your call how much you want to utilize that option. You can run triple damage reduction and maximum life, or still keep some utility and just get double damage reduction affix. Alright, those are all the item slots. You probably notice I skip all resistances, they are not in a good spot right now and will be fixed in season 2. When it comes to damage, critical strike damage and vulnerable damage are just too powerful, so we skip everything else. Also have in mind that this was general overview and your build may have to sacrifice some of the fixes for others. Let me know in the comments what is your itemization strategy and why you go with it. Bye. Thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.